At this example, we will demonstrate the optimization module of SAM. The example consists of a 4-bar mechanism with a mass of 10 kg at node 5. And we are looking at the driving torque, which ranges from about 20 newton meters to minus 26. We will change the options of the scaling to not auto scale, so we can say later on we can see the changes on the range of the torque. The idea to reduce the torque is to apply another mass in the coupler plane. We will do it by using two beams, one and a second beam. So at this node 6 we will apply a mass using the element properties where we can put 20 kilograms at the end of the beam, which means relative distance to node 1 is 1. So now we have added another mass. What we see at the curve left is that it didn't improve very much. Still we have a big a range about between 20, 20 newton meters and minus 20 newton meters. So the mass and the location of this mass is not really a good improvement. Therefore we need the optimization of SAM. Before talking about the optimization be aware that in this example we don't apply gravity so it's just only the masses that play against their movements and uh, ask for some torque at the drive. For optimization we need two things. The first thing is the objective which will be defined in five steps. The first step is the is the objective type. In our case we are looking for a torque to get reduced so this is a function. So it's a function and not a path. This function also uh, has some details and that is where the torque is being located. The torque is a property of the element of number one and it will be the torque at node one. We can choose any of the properties, but in our case we want to reduce the torque. Our function is put against the time axis. The reference file is in our case not important because we are not dealing with a path, but we are dealing with a function. In this case there is no reference file. And the next step is for step 4. It is the property we are optimizing. In our case, we want to optimize the absolute maximum value of the torque. And our goal is to minimize this value. So we want a minimal torque peak value, actually. That's what we're looking for. And peak value is not enough. We need the absolute value. So now we defined our objective. Second step is to define our parameters. The parameters are, in our case, the position of the mass. And we will do it using this dialog. And we will select an element or a node. In our case, we will select a node. Exactly this node. And we want to let the optimization process look for a better location. And we can do that by drag a rectangle for defining the area in which this mass will lie. So next we, we have told some now that this mass may range within this area, this gray stippled area, and the optimization process will look for the best location. As a second parameter, which can be entered using this menu but it can also enter it by using this element floating menu. We ask for the property of the mass. Here we have 
entered our mass of 20 kilograms and we define the optimization so we tell some that also this mass may be changed may be optimized and a mass should start always at zero but it may range up to 20 kilograms so next we have defined our parameters which are the location of the mass and the mass itself now we will let some start the optimization process by entering the run command and some will try to find the best solution at the left we can see our goal, the, tor the target um, torque value which is uh, in decreased already and we hope it will decrease more and more after looking for a better solution runtime we see if there's a better solution then some will display it here and well it looks like uh, it's not easy to find a better solution but our simplex method makes a strong improvement as we see after some time we will find out there is no better solution or the limit is reached in other sections we will explain more details about the settings of the methods but what we see here is a strong improvement of the driving torque as our peak value of the torque started with minus 26 so the absolute value of 26 newton meters it seems now to end up at about uh, four and a half newton meters so that's a good improvement